deranged airsoft here and this is our second look at building 52 uh, we know we released a video roughly about um, what was it about maybe about a month ago or two months ago showing building 52 and it's really empty so now we've been given another access to building 52 to look and see what changes they've made and uh, first off the bat you can see we've kind of changed entrances here we're going to come down a little door on the other side of this door is the parking lot and it's just down a little ways from the door I came in on our last video. So you come down this door, we're going to go down the stairs to will be the main entrance. And all this isn't finalized yet, but this would be where you come in. So we'd have um, over here would be where we're looking at, they're looking at probably setting up where you come in, you register and get set up for the night. There'll be some stuff to buy. This will be your first staging area where we can set up gear, get all your stuff lined out. There'll be another one, um, another spot will be just out the door and then around here on this back side, which we'll go look at later. Um, but nice, nice little area to first come into down those stairs and around to this side. And then you come right out into the field. And this side will be, this side won't be open yet. When they first open, that'll be for later on. There's a couple other rooms back there that we showed. But right at the opening, we're not looking at, the Building 52 is not looking at having that side open just yet. Um, but as you can see, a lot of work's been done already. This used to all be open and empty. And now we've got some stuff going on. So there's Psycho taking pictures. So first room, we can come down and this is uh, kind of the back side of the hotel. And you can kind of see here, a lot of passageways. This is supposedly going to be like an elevator shaft that will probably extend up and maybe have some different levels in it. Um, front side of the uh, little area here, the front of the hotel. Passage back here, little cubby hole there. And then it exits on this side of the hotel to this whole back room. And bathrooms would be up in this area here. Real bathrooms for players to use, which actually is attached that walkway when we came in is right on the back side here of this door. You go down and there's the walkway right there. So real accessible for bathrooms. Um, then you can come on this side. This is the back entrance to the bank. Nice little spot there. And here's the bank back here. So you have like the banker's office, a little teller stand over here, which gives you access to the whole front and the street right there. So a lot of this is set up similar to like a city. Another hallway on the back side. I believe they're going to have this like kind of with some plexiglass possibly. Actually to where you can kind of see through like windows of a real bank. Um, then we go down around this side. This is now the automotive shop on the other side of this. Where they are going to be getting a real car that was donated. So here's the back entrance to the auto shop. And here you'll see a, um, I believe they have a Dodge Durango that was given. And that will be in here. All right, little cubby spot over here with another exit to the uh, auto shop. And this is gonna be the roadway. So all along here is considered roadway. So we're standing right in the middle of the street. So you got the bank, you have the hotel, you have the auto shop. And then over here, this is gonna be like the uh, penthouse basically, or the, the, play, the living quarters of someone. So enter into the home here, like a little living room. This is gonna look like a bathroom. In here, uh, you have this ramp that you kind of come up to these several little small rooms here. And then overlooking a second ramp here. And all this is gonna be blocked off. So you kind of have some cover, but it won't be completely blocked off. So there will be still some areas that you could kind of shoot through the walls. Um, but overshooting into the bank from here, we have kind of a good street view, but very, very interesting what they've done. So we come back through the house. We're back onto the road. And there's a back entrance over here to our next building. So you can get into these buildings from a lot of different ways. So a little back door here. Another little hallway in between these kind of offices and buildings. Another room right here with windows. And these windows, the way he's designed them is 
eventually you could actually, for certain games, they would actually be able to close these off to where you can't actually shoot through them. You're actually going to have to enter the room, um, which would make it a lot more difficult. So I'm kind of broken down barriers here for the roadway. We come out on this side. Nice barriers here, roadside barriers. Uh, back side of the one building. And then this building over here is the little convenience store with all racks and there's going to be stuff kind of on the racks. Little cashier's table here. Um, main entrance. Back side door here to the back alley. And over here, they're going to have like their whole stereo system set up. So you, this will whole be like interactive with sounds going on, building, bu buildings blowing up, planes flying over. Um, really awesome. So they've done a lot of work and really excited about the opening of this place. So just going to give you another street side view. Okay, and that's a, another quick look at Building 52 after about a month's worth of work and the tentative opening date right now they've said is November 1st. So make sure that you are there and ready to play some airsoft at Building 52. This is Deranged Airsoft, Professor speaking, signing off, and thanks for watching.